Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, I'm going to start off with a card from the brand new deck by Colette Baron Reed called Guides of the Hidden Realms. Um, she literally just released it. It's based on a series of paintings that she did and where she was calling in guides and messages and then translating them onto the canvas pretty interesting and of course hay house said let's go ahead and create a deck so thought i would share it with you and read it right out of the guidebook oh lovely card 44 that's a master number we don't reduce it you get the emergence of hope faith trusting in a divine plan all is well and patience the emergence of hope so I'm feeling a combo of the star and the wheel of fortune. Let's see what the message is. <clears throat> Hope in its truest manifestation is a believing in the goodness within people and placing our trust in a positive, meaningful outcome. It is knowing that all is well, despite temporary evidence to the contrary, in the manifest world. It's a beautiful energy that we need to foster on a daily basis. To tune into its essence, we must do so wholeheartedly, knowing that spirit is the source of the energy of all life. Today, everything good that you are aligned with is true. You are attracted, even inspired, to act toward your beautiful, fulfilling destiny. Some things might be taking longer than expected. Perhaps loss has taken you on a temporary, shady and unfamiliar path, but nothing is truly lost. Even in our grief, there is the seed of love and redemption. Hold on to your unwavering faith in the highest good because it will not be taken from you. Allow the emergence of hope to take root in your heart be patient and trust that all is well. That's a really beautiful message, Virgo. I, I bring it to you. I, I am um, recording this on, <clears throat> on the 11th anniversary of the passing of my mom. And it feels like she's trying to speak to me there. <laughs> I am a Virgo. So... I'm gonna claim this along with you. Um, let's do it together. Have faith, trusting in a divine plan that all is well. And let's um, all kind of grab hands here right now energetically and um, say that we'll have patience for that which is unfolding according to a divine plan. And um, yeah, all will be well. So if you missed it, uh, I did do a full moon reading for the full moon in Capricorn. That's part one. This is interesting because we had a full moon in Capricorn on the 21st, 22nd of um, June here, depending on where you live. And we're going to have another full moon in Capricorn on July 21st. So that doesn't happen often, but it's a sort of a readjusting of um, the moon's orbit versus the Earth's versus the sun's. So it's almost like the moon is sinking up again. And it's doing so right here, right now. So I hope that you will take advantage of that reading. Um, go ahead and watch it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pull uh, my split soulmate spread. Um, it can come through reverse, so keep that in mind. But we're opening up the reading with the overall energy of the chariot. The chariot, I love this, this graphic. It's so appropriate. The chariot is like vroom, vroom. Like, do I have the will to pick up the pace, to make progress, to launch myself into some form of victory, triumph, right? So there's an overcoming aspect to um, the chariot. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. 
Virgo. Holy Hannah. <clears throat> so I just did the Leo reading. And this card showed up in the same spot for them. So if you have a lot of Leo in your chart, like I do, or if you're dealing with a Leo and you missed that reading, go back and watch it because I feel like I'm getting some vibe uh, of a connection for the opportunities coming, you know, um, fast approaching. Your person, Page of Pentacles, they're stepping into the reading with this energy of, I'm taking baby steps right now because it's, it's new territory. There's something I have to learn. And their block or challenge with the Two of Pentacles is that they are kind of on the fence about what's, you know, that next step. Um, they're not sure. There could be some risk assessment, like what am I really dealing with in real time? And therefore I'm on the fence about it or I'm feeling torn about something. So their um, opportunity going forward is an inward exploration. This is Virgo energy, which is so fascinating. But it's like, let me kind of take, take a little side path, right? If we're talking about the chariot, I'm going to go um, um, take the path less traveled and spend a little time exploring me, what makes me tick more self-awareness, more introspection, an emphasis on personal growth. But it is a solitary journey when we see the hermit. There is something that's being undertaken in a more solitary way. You're coming into the reading Six of Pentacles is about give and take, is about reciprocity. I can't do this on my own. I can't hold it on my own. I can't make it be a thing on my own. And so your block or challenge is also a two. So you are both faced with an important decision. Right here, right now, it is about for you an inner search for the meaning and the purpose of this decision, right? There feels to me that there may be something that isn't kind of coming back to you. And, and what I mean by that is not that everything we do is with an expectation that we you know, if we give that we receive, but in a relationship, that's kind of the name of the game. If we don't have any reciprocity, if there isn't a mutual investment, um, it cannot sustain itself over the long haul, right? So I think you have your blocker challenge is around a decision with, you know, regard to getting some clarity around that. And then the opportunity for you, King of Pentacles is about what it is that, that that it means that this person shows up for you in 3D, that they have your back, that they're dependable, reliable, that they're invested um, here in 3D. So that's where we're starting. Let's jump in with some clarifiers. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, so um, there's something that's coming. Let me get my lighting. We just had a big storm here, and so I had to turn up all my lighting here. So give me a chance to settle it back down. Okay, so Virgo. And like I said, you could be here as a cross watcher. That's fine. Take it as it resonates for you. With the chariot, there's there's some unknown. <sighs> like what's, you know, what's happening here? Um, the chariot is about the will to make progress, the will to come through something triumphantly. And there's some uncertainty around that. And the uh the Wheel of Fortune talks about divine time, talks about things unfolding according to a plan that you don't, you can't really see. So the moon makes total sense. It's what we can't see and what sort of gives us a little agita or, you know, anxiety or worry or, or, or um, 
um, oh, the word escapes me at the moment, but it feels like we pull back, right? We are not full steam ahead. We, we kind of hesitate here. With the Queen of Wands, um, I'm going to stick a pin in it because she's been coming through a lot of readings. Well, not a lot. Maybe three. <laughs> That's a lot to me since you are the sixth reading I'm doing. So three is like half, okay? 50%. Call me a liar. What I'm saying is she's coming through as a karmic partner in other readings, in this series of readings. And so there could be work, apprehension. Thank you. That was the word I was looking for. Some apprehension about the possibility of making progress, the will to make progress, right? And so what's happening here with, the, with um, Jupiter is like there's something playing out behind the scenes that's a bigger plan. So the take-home message is don't worry. Easy for me to say. So your person here with a page of pentacles. Can't even make it up. This is definitely connected to the Leo reading. Different decks, different signs. Um, this person is in the process of releasing something right? Letting something go, something ending, taking their first steps in a new direction toward their happiness. And the Three of Cups can be a card of reconciliation, a cause for celebration, a getting back together. It's very optimistic. It can also speak to third party energy. So for those of you who have third party um situations experiences you're dealing with it i, I just want to acknowledge it because it's not meant for everybody but i want to acknowledge that this person is taking those initial steps of releasing that in favor of the true happiness that they seek okay but their struggle here their block or challenge to a pentacles is like how do i make this happen what am i really dealing with um Right. Hmm. And so what happens is when you find yourself in, in a phase of feeling torn or uncertain, like, you, like maybe you don't know what's, what you're really dealing with here in 3D, you kind of get self-protective, right? You kind of get guarded. You kind of like hunker down. Well, I'm not going to do anything at all. Um, and it's interesting because that... Uh, this is about second chances, redemption, reunion, reconciliation. So if this person wants to find their way to you for second chances, for, right, to clear the air, um, they kind of have to drop that center pentacle, so to speak. They sort of have to reveal themselves emotionally, um, not stay on the fence about it, but I feel like this is somebody who is struggling with that kind of a choice in real time. Uh, but what's kind of rising up within them is this need, this urgency to make sure that they clear the air, that they um, explain themselves or um, that they speak some truth that has gone without mention for a while. So the hermit is their opportunity honestly guys <laughs> the Leo reading is literally almost identical. Um Toughing out all the conflict, all the chaos. I feel like this person is going to be gifted the opportunity to kind of go off the grid and lay low 
as they strategize their way through this very challenging time. Whoever this is, is up against something pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. And it will require this person to kind of handle it on the down low, uh, be very quiet about their plans, persevering against all odds, dealing with the, you know, conflict and um, kind of rising above the fray. This person is going to be gifted this opportunity to rise above the fray by almost Um, going into some form of self-exile. You are stepping in with Six of Pentacles. And remember, it can be reversed. Six of Pentacles again. Okay, so like, can we do that? Like, take two. <laughs> okay. It's like you're stepping in like, I'm up for it, but yeah, I, I, I got to have some give and take. You got to be invested in this with me. You're manifesting this, yes, like reemergence, uh, reignition of the torch of passion between you. But you're kind of looking at it from the through the lens of, are you in? I'm in. Oh, not six pentacles, eight of pentacles. Still, it's about sort of, you know, working through it together. Um, very interesting. Yeah, why did I see that as the Six of Pentacles twice? It is not. It's still a similar message. Let me correct myself. It's still about, we can work this out, we can, but you have to be invested. You have to be invested. So you're open to manifesting um, this, like, like, like a reemergence of this connection. C coming up with a creative solution to any problems, but doing so by being mutually invested in it. Thank you very much. Oh, it happens. Two of swords. In your blocker challenge. Okay. So you've been on hold for a while here, um, kind of sensing that there were nefarious energies lurking, impacting potentially the future of this connection, um, any potential for life partnership. There's some sabotage afoot. There's something here that feels like it's way out of balance. Um, and so your blocker challenge is it's difficult to get clarity around this important decision if everything's just been on hold. And sometimes, you know, if we put our future on hold, that's not a good plan, right? So I have a feeling that that's your challenge. Um, I don't think you're blocked. I think you're really challenged. Like, how long do how long do I have to wait? How long is this going to take? Uh, I cannot put my life, my future, on hold permanently. And by the way, because I don't want to come through it and take the hit and take the loss. So. It feels to me like this has been a connection that's sort of been on ice, been in a holding pattern for however long. And you're both in your, both of you, your block or challenge position is a two. Twos are always about choices and decisions. So let's see the King of Pentacles for you and the opportunity going forward. Hermit, Seven of Swords, Ace of 
Pentacles. A new beginning. There's a message here because this is Virgo energy and the hermit, but the message that's coming through uh, for you, for the opportunity going forward is about a new beginning with this energy of something you can count on. But the message in between is you can run, but you can't hide. There's the runner, there's the hider. You can run, but you can't hide. There's about to be um, a stepping out of the shadows energy for our king of pentacles here, right? Something that has felt elusive, maybe something that has felt um, untrustworthy, like I, I can't count on it, right? It, it it's, uh, doesn't have the staying power that I need, from, but the opportunity is the staying power and the new be beginning coming from this energy of hermit, their opportunity to push through something, some kind of conflict. Okay, it's getting really um, dicey here, guys. Some kind of conflict that this person is struggling through it it they are literally going to be on their last legs and then the opportunity is for them to kind of come out of the hiding to strategize their way through it with honor with integrity with honesty instead of avoidance you see how these are connected through hermit energy I know, it's like I need a decoder ring. Um, <laughs> I read tarot, but I, I'm not a psychic, so I can only give you the energies that come through, in a general reading at least, and then help you piece it together. How does this make sense for you? So what I'm gonna do is, I really feel like I wanna talk about this King of Pentacles in the extended, so first off, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna look at them, I'm gonna, sort of use this reading to get into their energy and see what they're processing, um, going through how they see you, think about you, feel about you, um, their intentions toward you, etc. So that's in the extended and there are links in the description box below. One says one time purchase and that's for this extended only. The other is the Virgo monthly which you get access on a monthly basis to four collections. So be sure to read that. Um, I'm gonna give you the astrology before I do that. Please, please, please. If you have been enjoying my readings and haven't yet, please do subscribe below. Uh, big changes in the algorithm lately. It's been coming for a couple months, but I didn't sort of get clued in until very recently. Um, and the new focus is on new channels and shorts, and that's fine. And I don't begrudge newcomers any opportunity to get their videos promoted and recommended. I don't. I was once new, and it was a bitch to kind of get seen at all on this platform. But now, as a result, it's like, you know, whenever there's... Once upon a time, I remember... Um, you know, seeing some kind of an ad on TV, and I don't really remember what the product was, but it was like a huge discount for new people, for new accounts, for new, probably a cell phone service or something, right? And I, it just struck me, and I'm like, wait a minute, I've been a loyal customer for like a freaking decade, <laughs> and I'm paying twice what you're gonna give an offer to for someone. Do you see what I'm saying? Like there's a, an energy here that feels off. In order to support new channels, they have to bite the hand that has fed them for years? Question mark, question mark. So please, if you wanna see me stay here, because I'm getting to the point where I'm not thinking that I can financially, um, please subscribe, view, 
make sure you go back watch anything you might have missed watch anything that spoke to you deeply i had one person who went back and went through like a whole slew of my videos like liking them commenting on them even just with emojis it was so generous of this person i don't even know their name because their name on youtube isn't their name but that like spoke to me that said laura i hear you laura i want you to stay here laura i'm gonna do this one thing i know i can do i can like and and hit some emoji comments on a crap ton of your videos and it did it shifted the algorithm guys it can be that simple so i'm i'm asking you humbly please help a girl out okay so here we go the astrology is chariot is cancerian energy we're in cancer season the moon is associated with the sign of Pisces. Queen of Wands is Aries. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Death card is Scorpio. Judgment is also Scorpio, but it is the planet Pluto, which rules Scorpio. Gemini in our Knight of Swords. The Hermit comes out twice is Virgo. King of Swords, more Aquarian energy. The Magician is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. The Hanged Man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. And King of Pentacles is Taurus. So that's what I have for you, my lovelies. Thanks for being with me. And um, I'm heading to the extended now. I'll see you there in a second.